is one of uh, the uh, was one of the most successful female groups of all time. Member, <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, the Pointer Sisters, of course. You know them from I'm So Excited, Jump, and other R&B classics. She's got a brand new memoir. It's called Still So Excited as a Pointer Sister. It's now available in your bookstores. Welcome to our show, Ruth Pointer. Hey, girl. Great grandma. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. Welcome back to our show. I haven't seen you in years. I'm so happy to be here. Can we give you some Ruth Pointer shoe cam? Keep there your you feet go. on those. When you guys were here, you were all together and you performed I'm So Excited. Yes. Now I look in your book and I see you're not together. What happened? Well, my sister Anita had uh, some medical issues, went through chemo, and it caused some neuropathy for her. Okay. And it was real scary for her to be on stage, you know, because yeah. your legs get numb and feet get numb. But there were four original pointer sisters. Four original. And you're the big sister. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So, Anita. Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie and, and June. June. So where are Bonnie and June? Bonnie went solo in 1976. June passed away, 2006. Oh, yeah. But you're still touring. Me, my daughter Issa, and my granddaughter Sadako, who lives here in New York City. <laughs> wow. Don't have to guess which one's your daughter. You all are twins. <laughs> You kept it together. So the Pointer Sisters, as we all know, were big in the 70s and 80s. And um, that was a time when Shaka Khan and Aretha Franklin. Natalie. And those gals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Were you all friends back then? Natalie was a very good friend of mine. And uh, Shaka, too. And as a matter of fact, we, the three of us, did the Tokyo Music Festival together in 1974. And won consecutively the top three spots. First, Natalie, Pointer Sister, second, Shaka, third. Yeah. We, were, we were having a good time. Nice. Yes. The Grammys were the other night, and we talked yesterday regarding, you know, Natalie perhaps not getting the proper tribute. Um, what are your thoughts? Were you disappointed? I was. I thought they could have done better. Or disappointed? I, I was disappointed, say. yes. Yes, yeah. Yes. She was a good girl. Yes, yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. She was. I was and actually speaking with her uh, right down to the last few weeks of her life. Hmm. She was, yeah. Hmm. Because she had said that she wanted to do the forward in my book. Hmm. But she was just too sick and couldn't do it. Hmm. So, yeah. In the book, you talk about drugs. Natalie has talked about drugs. Were you guys buddies? Not in that in, area. In, okay. Not in that area, yeah. you know. Uh, it was kind of a secretive thing, you know what I mean? Uh, I understand. A couple of times I went on stage loaded. I didn't like it. Loaded like how? Like, what did you do? Cocaine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And thinking, you know, that was going to really make me have energy, you know? Yeah. Oh, God, it was exhausting. And I thought, okay, I don't want to do that. But then, in turn, that made me, like, want to hurry up and get through with the show so I could get to my drugs. Gotcha. I'm having much more fun now. Were you hiding the drugs from your sisters? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Were they each going through their own thing, but you didn't know? Probably. I don't know. I don't know. You know, people think, okay, they're sisters, and every time they see one of us, they go, where are your sisters? Where are your sisters? We're right. all grown women. Yes. Okay, so we all had yeah, our own only... individual lives and our own individual houses, and we would work together, and then we'd go home. Did you live in the same neighborhood? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading in the book that you um, got good and high with Richard Pryor. <laughs> oh. And I don't want to tell the story. I'd rather for Ruth to tell it. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we've been to Richard's house before. Uh-huh. And uh, actually, we opened for Richard once in uh, Cherry Hill. And he got... New Jersey? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How you doing? Oh, well. And we uh, would love to, we loved watching Richard, so we would run back out to see his show after we opened for him. And mm -hmm. he would say, oh, you know, those pointer sisters are really great, but they just won't give me no. I like 
that story. Oh, I love that story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, now, Ruth is on her fifth husband, and she's got five kids. Now, I, you know, sometimes we laugh, <laughs> you know, on account of, you know, sometimes our people can be messy. Hey. But, no, you were, your kids are from... My first two are from my first marriage. Right. And then the second marriage, no kids. Uh, then the third marriage, uh, Issa. Okay. And then the fourth marriage, no kids. And so now I got three. And so the last one, <laughs> what happened was... The last one... The uh -huh. last one is the twins. Okay. But what I love is that she got it right. Fifth time's a charm. You've been married almost... 25 years. 25 years? Yeah. Yeah. So, your, young, your youngest, your twins, by the way, your husband's very handsome. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Is he here with you now? No. He's at home. Yeah. Massachusetts. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, now look, your youngest kids, I was reading in the book, uh -huh. didn't know about your past. No, they didn't. You know, the past yeah. past. yeah, girl, the oh, real past. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, but they're in their 20s now. They're in their 20s now. So when did you decide to tell them? A few weeks ago. <laughs> so they never went on the Googler? No, no, they really didn't, you know? Do I they mean, know who you are? They know, they know who I am, but they didn't know that who I was. So how, how'd they react? <laughs> They said, you know what, Mom? We know you. We love you. We don't care what your past was. We're proud of you. you Why know? were you so scared? Well, you know, it's, it was, I was living in a new area, New England, and uh, my kids had, you know, a different set of friends. Yes. And I just didn't want them to be judged by my past through their friends' parents. I understand. You know, I mean... Yeah. And, you know, rock and rollers can have a, a horrible reputation, you they, know. Rock and rollers, yeah, un, they can. Un, unjustly. Yeah. You know, really. Rock and roll. Ooh, she's in rock and roll. Ooh, Lord. You know. <laughs> but they were right about me. <laughs> Bruce Corner, everybody. Give it up. The book is called Still So Excited. It's available in bookstores now. Ask Wendy is next. Bruce.